started making a promise to myself that I was going to do anything and everything that felt true to me. And the second that I started doing that, like an in pour of like just opportunity and uh, like self-validation and understanding of who I was just became a reality for me and I realized, wow, like I should have done this a lot sooner. Everybody else around you is just as insecure as you are, if not more. Like everybody has insecurities, everybody has self-doubts. And I realized that the people that maybe were picking on me at school or seemed so confident were masking a lot of other things. If everybody else is insecure and is dealing with stuff, and I'm not talking about like everybody else just in high school, I'm talking about every mentor you have, every adult that you look up to, like everybody has something. And once you realize that, you're like, wait, if I just own up to mine and acknowledge mine and stay strong and true to myself, no one can take that away from me. And I realized like, if I wanted to be who I wanted to be, no one except for myself could stop me. Every time somebody said no, they just weren't the right person. And most people are never thinking about you and they're not thinking about your insecurities. And once they put you down or once they bully you or once they whatever, they're moving on. You're not stuck in their mind. You realize like, wait a minute, why am I letting people's energy take up space in my brain? And even when you are struggling with insecurity and even when you're struggling with self-doubt, when you carry yourself like higher with a higher head and you um, just stand taller and you are firm in what you have to say, like nobody sees through that strength of yours. I am this strong, like I am this tall, I am this great. And walking in with this energy of, of, of respecting yourself and loving yourself and understanding that you deserve everything that you're going after. And it wasn't always so easy, but it was never impossible. I never, ever, ever thought like, there's no way I could do this. You never need like great mentors or parents or friends to be the greatest off the bat. But you do get to collect people along the way. I don't think that anybody can get to the, the where they want to be without community and without supporting somebody else and having other people support you. Like we, as human beings, like grow as a community if we want to grow the right way. Remember to listen to your gut and your intuition. That's the one thing at the end of the day, parents aside, family aside, friends aside, mentors aside, my gut is the one thing that, that like I've been able to hold on to and it's just like, oh, you never let me down. And I always say in order to find your purpose, what I like to do is combine my skills and talents with the things that pain me. And so find causes that pain you. So the causes that pain me are violence against women, um, homelessness, the misrepresentation of communities in the media, because I've seen how that directly harms me and my community. So if you're able to at least be able to recognize what it is that pains you, like really reflect on it. What are the things that really bother you? Because everybody wants to save the entire world and then when you try to get to that point, you're like, oh my God, this is so overwhelming. There's, I, I don't even know where to start. I'm just gonna give up right away. It is not our responsibility as a single human being to change the entire world. But what you can do is you can build. You can find the things that you want to work on and you want to contribute to, and then you can find your people. And then you can continuously build and chip away at things. But if you know that all of this is gonna go away, then why not live every single day towards a purpose, every single day towards something that makes you feel like that this world is worth living for in the deepest, darkest moments of your life, that you're not alone. That like, there is something greater for you out there. One of the darkest things that I ever had to go through was something that like, I never thought I was gonna come out and like talk about or do anything about but I channeled that sadness and that anger and that darkness into my work, into something productive, into something of service to other people. Find out what it is that you live for, what that purpose is, and, and every single day make the intention of working towards that. And don't sit and feel sorry for yourself and, make yourself, and put yourself down and make yourself feel bad because that is precious minutes of your day and of your life in turn that you're wasting 
on not being able to channel whatever it is that you're feeling into something positive and productive. Using your victim story and turning it into your hero story. And through and I get angry at the people who may have hurt me. I'm just like, yeah, but you guys have no idea what you like, how this made me. And uh, when you do that, you never give them the strength. You never give the person who hurt you the power. You take it back. And you take it back and you come back stronger. I then don't feel bad when other people try to tear me down because I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You don't know me or my intentions or my purpose or what I'm doing. You don't know what happens behind closed doors. You don't know how I like what good I do. And I know I'm freaking great. So like, I will never give that power away to anybody else. As long as you maintain that strength with yourself, like you can never give that to somebody else. Because how precious is that? I'm not like the greatest power in the universe. That I am simply a human being who has good intention and has a strong sense of purpose. And I'm constantly going to work towards what I want, but I'm going to surrender myself to something bigger than me. All of the things that I did along this journey that were so difficult that people never saw, I would do again. And I would never now, like in that moment, I never saw it as a struggle because I so badly wanted mm. this thing that I was after. That every time I worked an overnight shift and took extra jobs and saved money and got rejected and every single time those things happened or I got screwed over by a job or a person or whatever it was, like at the time I was like, no, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And I never registered what was going on because I was so badly focused on maintaining this journey and getting to somewhere with it. If you enjoy the path to there, then it ends up being worth it even if you fail at the end. Exactly. You will never attain anything without falling continuously. And that's okay because you get stronger as you continuously go. When you actually see the life that she has led, what she has personally had to go through, and then the knock-on effect that she's now having on other people, it's so incredible. With affecting the, the trafficking industry, really making a dent there and bringing all, so don't listen to people. Go out and be the hero of your own life because the only person that's actually going to do that is you.